Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah here from The Automator. And the other day someone asked about using Rifidium and using it with Firefox. So we thought we'd do a, a quick video here, nothing too advanced. Uh, Isaiah, why don't you go ahead and share your screen and sure. show what you've done. So right now um, we just got word that now Rifidium supports Firefox and Opera. So you can use it now with them. Uh, I did want to make the video because there's one little detail that you have to keep in mind with Firefox, okay? So remember that you have to include Rufadium. Let me make the text a little bigger. So you have to include Rufadium as usual. Now, this time we're going to be working with Firefox. So FF, near Rufadium. Uh, so let me just copy this. You need my hot string, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So um, now remember that for the new Rufadium, you just have to specify the driver. So usually it was Chrome driver uh, .exe. In this case, it's not going to be Chrome driver itself. It's going to be uh, Gecko driver, which is the driver that is used for uh, Firefox. Now, what is going to happen, remember, if you don't have the driver, the Rufadium library is going to download it for you. Uh, now, as soon as you have this, you just go ahead and say new, is, uh, new session, I think it is. Here we go. Now, the new session function, when I did it with Chrome, automatically gave me a page, which is what I'm doing here. So the new session gave me a page. Now, with that page, I could navigate to the automator. Need a hot string for that. <laughs> and then you can quit, right? So I'm just going to navigate and quit. Nothing too fancy, return that. Now, what you're going to find is that there is a little bit of a detail. Maybe we will work it out later on. But here, um, I have Firefox installed, because you have to have Firefox installed. Firefox never allowed me to choose where to install it. So it was installed in a, in a, in a default location, right? But I get an error saying that the expected browser binary location, that means the executable for Firefox, was not found. Okay, It was not in the default location. So the capability was not provided. And for that reason, it is asking you if you want to download the latest driver. You say yes. It's going to download it again. But then in the end, it's going to have the same issue over and over again. It's going to loop over there. So again, this is not an issue with Rufadium itself. It's an issue with the driver itself. The driver is not finding Firefox somewhere, and it's assuming that you don't have the latest driver and asking you to download again. Now, the way how you fix that, and at the end, if you keep clicking yes, it's going to be just looping on that. Um, now, the new session here, you can provide the location of the binary. Okay, You can pass it as a, as a parameter. So what I'm going to do, I could just go ahead and find the Firefox. Well, that's, this is the A of that uh, thing. So in my C program files, Mozilla Firefox location, I can go ahead and use that as the location where Firefox is because I know that that's where the executable is. So basically, I'm just telling the program where the Firefox executable is. I will have uh, some ways of dealing with this later on. I will actually talk to CEO because there is a way for me to find in the location of the current browser. So I could find the location of Firefox. It doesn't matter where it is. But the, the way how we're going to handle it, maybe catching the error and finding if it is not there, you know, those kind of things. But now, uh, as soon as I do that and I run the script, now I will get Firefox opened up and actually is going to go to the automator and it's going to close by itself. So. Yes, the thing works. And, and basically, I would be able to do exactly the same as we did in other uh, in the other videos that we could go query selector all. And I could just query selector all the divs. Let's see what the length is of that. Maybe that would give me some information. Let me see what happens there. I'm not really sure if that's going to find something. But yeah. Um, uh, length of value or something. Uh, length. But in general, what I what I yeah. what I just need to do is just find what I could query on the page. But yes, you would be able to use the query selector all to find whatever you right. want. Setting the class. class. So instead of div, yeah, the S class 
or is, is it is it s yeah s and set the value to you know something inner like inner well it, it's going to be the search edit field value equals to yeah just, just um test. yeah yeah so this is the s class i'm going to grab the first one of it and i'm going to set the value to something is that what we're yeah testing yeah, with? Right. so let me see oh that was weird yeah it says that there's a session already started uh, the funny thing is that it tells me that like to download the latest driver again, like that's interesting. Yeah, right. That error is kind of interesting. Let me double check Firefox, Gecko. Ah, yeah, the Gecko driver was there because we didn't finish it up. That's what it was happening. So let's try that. Let's see what happens there. Ah, oh, there it is. Yes. So it, 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 I was able to actually access it and find it. The only thing is that my other query that I did was not really. Um, and then real quickly, just because we, we looked at at least of using a profile, that was where Firefox kind of handles profiles. Interesting. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah. So what happens with Firefox is it saves the, prof the profiles with encoded, uh, probably it has kind of like an ID kind of like a string for the ID and so on. So you cannot really know what the folder is going to be named because right. those are created by Firefox. Now, the way how they handle it is by having a profiles any uh, file, which in turn has the name of the profile and then it tells you the path of it, okay? So basically you could use either profile one to get the default profile zero for the special uh, mm -hmm. one. And if you have another profile, it's going to be profile two, profile three, okay? And basically it's going to give you the path to it, but we will have to work around that in a way that you could, it's easier for you to select the first profile and it would just go ahead and read the path for yeah, you. 99% of the time, that's all people want is their default profile, right? Exactly. So, and we're going to have ways of doing that easier. So let me see, get code driver. Right. Okay, whatever. The point is that I was just going to close Gecko Driver and he decided not to play ball. <laughs> so <laughs> it's okay. Uh, in any case, I think uh, with this, you, we, we, we can safely say like, yes, there is support for Firefox. I think Opera also works as well. The profile thing is going to be in the meantime, you know, I, we don't have a concrete information on that. Yet. Cool. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.